here's that FM116. Uh, uh, this is the one with four probes and it's wireless digital uh, thermometer. So, here it is. Here's the user manual. Take a picture of it so you guys can read it later. And here's the back. first. So here's one probe. It's a little yellow. I don't know what the yellow one's for. I'm sure we'll find out later. Here's another one with the red. So I can put them here. Blue one. And last but not least, the purple one. And they're labeled at the end where you plug them in right here and down here. So, the four probes that come with it has these things to hold it. Comes with the batteries. Here's this, and it a stand so I can get it out. There we go. Nice little stand. Um, and that comes for two pros and two on the other side. And here's the bigger one. So I'll put on the battery and try them out. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here it is. Put them on. So now we'll just cover them back up. So here's this. Take off the protective film. And this is. So now it has all four of them. Here's this. So. So satisfying. All right. So now, what, what does it do? So this is for um, you to put this on here. You know, here it is. Put another one and another one. So depending on where they're touching, pretty much the same thing. So if you guys see, down here, and down here, um, what's it called, it says the same thing, well, let's see, I might have to change from degrees to Celsius, there we go, so now they see the same thing, so now I can see which probe is what, and then, um, that way you can, you know, leave this, uh, somewhere over here. So let's see where we're gonna put it. Down over here. feet um, from where this is and it's still reading it um, I don't know why it says the outside temperature is 171 um, I don't know where it reads that oh it says temp to 171 JK so once it hits that it'll tell you um, you can you know time the probe um, Clear your settings over here. Change, uh, change uh, how much you want it to. So fish, um, a burger, uh, settings, cow, other type of cow, turkey, chicken, pig, sheep, and fish again. So. 
Um, and then right here you can choose what you want. So if you want rare, well done, medium well, medium, medium rare. And so that way you can set it. So that's pretty cool that it tells you um, what kind of meat at what temperature it will be. Um, let's see. Tells you which probe is what, so you can set each probe uh, separately. So, probe one, you know, you can set it as a turkey. Probe two, we'll set it as a fish. Probe three, that can be a pig, and we want this one medium. And then probe four. We'll do that as a burger. And we want our burger to be, uh, let's see. So it doesn't tell us what our burgers can be. So we'll just do like, uh, and we'll just do a medium and then you set them up or set a timer and yeah. yeah so that's what it is right here and again you can press this to switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius um, let's see to set the timer just press and hold. You now set the uh, minutes, set the hours, and uh, you pretty much just have to go up. So if you wanna, you know, six and you hit seven, you have to go all the way up. And do six, and then, which I messed up, it's gonna bug me if I don't do six. And you do 630, you know, set it. There you go. You start it. So now it'll go off for the 6 hours and 30 minutes. And then let it run. And you can go to the other one, which I will bring it back. This one won't tell you um, the timer or anything. It'll just tell you that it's connected. Um, but you can change the um, temperature on these. Um, so, and then it's pretty quick. You guys can see the yellow one, which I'm touching. It's already going up. And then let's see if I touched. We'll do the blue. Starts going up. But yeah, that's pretty cool that you can, you know, do four different meats and until you're cooking for different steaks for a different burger or for whatever reason you know you have four spots on your grill you can do one spot at each um, you don't have to individually stick to the um, meat itself unless you really want to um, so like if you have a smoker and a grill or like let's say you're doing know, chicken and beef and stuff like that then you have different ones and it'll stop at each one and you'll know but yeah there's a lot of applications for this I think it's pretty cool um, you can do it remotely, and again, you can leave this outside, so our grill's over there, or you can just leave it there. Leave this in the kitchen where we're going to be prepping the rest of the 
you know, vegetables and stuff like that, and then just wait for it to stop, and you don't have to be monitoring it 24-7, uh, so that's really nice. Mm -hmm.